Recently on the homestead, we've done a number of upgrades when it comes to our power. Uh, you saw maybe a number of videos ago, a number of months ago, we installed all these solar panels here, which gave us a major, basically doubled, no, 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 <laughs> probably tripled <laughs> our ability to collect uh, sun power, solar power on the homestead. When we first came out to this homestead, we only had like two of these panels, you know, basically for our house. And we've expanded from there, we've expanded from there and expanded again. And now we've got 12 panels um, to supply power for the house. And we've upgraded majorly the batteries and the inverter system. That's what we're going to talk about today. I'm going to show you guys how our system is set up and what we're allowed to, what we're able now to do with it. One of the first things we've been able to do is upgrade our water system. You remember we had a different system in here, an RV pump that was supplying pressure to our to our house for our water pressure. Um, that RV pump is just just not meant for day to day, you know, hour by hour use. And so I went ahead and removed that and went and put this system in here. Uh, this is an easy Harbor Freight system and it connects basically the same way as the smaller RV pump does. You have an intake, you have an outtake and it pressurizes the system. However, it's more pressure, more consistent pressure. It has a definite uh, more powerful accumulator tank. And um, I still have my spin down filters for pre-filtering the water before it gets into our system. And then obviously we filter our water again in the Berkey system, but the power upgrade that we did allowed us to go to a more powerful pump and accumulator tank. Uh, of course, we still have the on-demand hot water heater, and we're gonna be doing some changes to the gas line for this. We're gonna be putting in some new changes that this power upgrade is gonna allow us to do. I'll talk about that also in a few minutes. Inside this room of the house, we have our inverter by Sun Gold Power. Now, this has been a major game changer. If you've watched my videos in the past, you know that usually different components make up all the things that you're gonna need once you get that power from your solar panels and then transfer that power into your battery bank and then into an AC usable system like a house would use. It takes some components, usually a charge controller, usually like an inverter, and maybe if you wanna have a different stage charger or three stage chargers for your batteries, you had to have that component as well. Now everything, is inside one system. This is the Sun Gold Power. It's a 6,500 watt inverter. It's absolutely fantastic. I've been using this now for a number of months. Okay. In fact, the company keeps begging, bugging me. Hey, when are you going to do your next video on this? I listen. I wanted to get some time underneath my belt. I wanted to finish some upgrades, and we did all these upgrades. And I have one more upgrade. I'm almost ready to complete. I have one small part. We'll talk about that again in just a second. But we got our battery upgrades in. I have basically tripled the amount of power with these lithium iron battery, this lithium iron battery bank that we have installed. Our friend Roy came over and we paid him to go ahead. He, he designed and created these batteries on his own. These are lithium iron batteries and they are performing absolutely fantastic. Okay. They have the BMS battery management systems on each one of these, which includes um, uh, thermostats and wireless control. Uh, there's a little wireless antenna right here for each battery and each BMS that allows me to use my phone to check up on the status and health of each battery if I want to um, at any given point in time. So there's there's the bank, bank down here. There's a 48 volt here, a 48 volt here, and all the whole system together is a 48 volt system. And it all ties into here. The solar panels come into here. We have um, the AC in for my um, uh, generator that's outside in case we have like a number of days of cloudy weather, the AC comes in and AC goes out to the house. And then we have our uh, photo panels, our, our uh, solar panels coming in here. And then we have our battery banks lines here. And so, and it's very easy to operate, very easy to use. I highly recommend, a lot of you guys have contacted me about Sun Gold Power and would I recommend it? Absolutely. Um, one of the things I do like about it is that it has a very easy to read manual. Okay, some of these companies you go to and you're like, you're reading the manual and it's like Greek. There's, I've, I've mentioned this on a number of products and uh, things that I've reviewed on this channel. I love it when a company puts together a manual where I actually learn something by reading the manual. Okay, if it's not just instructions, it's just not just a bunch of gobbledygook. This is, you can actually learn things in the manual. And I think they try to teach you. It's very easy to read. And so um, there's all kinds of huge amounts of troubleshooting in here. If something goes wrong, if you have a question about something, usually I, there's only been one time where I needed to go on Google and try to find an answer for something I couldn't figure out. But everything else, 
was in the manual and I just had to, you know, read it and actually apply what I was reading and fix whatever issue I had. So there you go. The Sun Gold Power Inverter, it's everything in one. It's your charge controller, it's your inverter, it handles charging from when it comes to AC power, like a generator hook up to it, and uh, it's your combiner box. Everything is in one. And it's this one's a 6,500 watt inverter. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. If you want to look into this panel or um, one of their other products, you can do that by clicking the link below. But let me show you the other upgrade that this and the battery bank and the solar panel, solar panel upgrade is allowing us to go ahead and do. This is going to be a game changer. Let me take you into this room here. Look at that. That is... A washing machine <laughs> and a dryer. Now this is a propane dryer. Um, the only thing I have left to do to finish this upgrade, because we have the additional power now in the house, um, is to hook up a gas line. So the gas line will be coming in through the wall there. There's the outside wall there. And I'll be putting a vent system through there. But I can't put the vent until I have this thing able to run. Um, but I'm waiting for uh, uh, one part to get here. As soon as that part gets here, um, uh, I'll be going ahead and putting a vent in there. Put the gas line in. Hooking this up. All the water lines are already ready to go and hooked up for this one. I have the hoses over here for that. Uh, for the washer and then we'll move the washer a little bit over that way and then we'll be able to plug this thing in and have a washer and dryer on the homestead something we have never had before you've seen our videos in the past how we've done laundry <laughs> by hand over the years and we have we still sell and advertise for the laverio washer system on our website and AmericanHomestead.com. It's a great off-grid washer system. Um, it's definitely, the of, of all the ones we tried before in the past, it by far is the best off-grid. But finally, we have the power upgrade enough. It's been years. It's taken us 10 years to upgrade our system enough to be able to have a washer and dryer. Again, this is going to be a propane dryer. It will not be electric. It's electric, but it's not, you know, electric heat. It's going to be, it's going to be a propane uh, gas dryer. And then um, obviously the this is electric too. But we have the additional power now to be able to do that with our batteries that we have here in this other room. So fantastic opportunity to now just enjoy the upgrade. It took us a long time to get here. Now I'm back in studio. I want to show you some easy, simple diagrams that you can follow along with. Easy, simple. But before we get started with that, I need to address something that every time I do a video like this, comes up in my comment section. Zach, I see what you got there. That's just too outside of my, <laughs> I can't afford that. That just looks like so much. Um, you must be a millionaire to do all that. I can't do that. Understand that we started off very, very small. Okay, just a couple solar panels. A couple solar panels, an inverter, a charge controller, a combiner box, and we and some wiring and some lead acid, the old school lead acid batteries. Okay, we I think we bought our first set of batteries from Sam's Club <laughs> back in the day, um, and. Um, so we, we've got, we've come a long way. We went, went to lead acid batteries for a while, then we went to AGMs, and now we're at lithium iron. Okay, different than lithium ion, lithium iron. So we've come a long way. Understand that you can do you can do a little at a time, and then as your finances allow, as time allows, you can add on to the system that you build. That is a beautiful thing about solar. You, know, you can start off with a certain type of inverter and then when time and money allows, upgrade to a different inverter and plug that into your system. And depending on what you're doing, you, you may have to upgrade certain other things, but may, maybe not. You can do it little by little by little as you can afford it. And that's how we've done this over 10 years time, a decade, over a decade now we've done this. All right. So knowing that, I just want you to understand this didn't all just come together yesterday. <laughs> we've, been, we've been working on this for a decade. Um, now, um, and today we can do a lot with it. Here's some diagrams. Here's, here's basically what we started with. And understand that this diagram that you're seeing right here, this diagram just powered a little 16 foot trailer that we had on the side of the house. You know, it was a little bit away from the house. And we had that set up so that I could go in there and record videos. Okay. That that's what powered, you know, that didn't that didn't go to the house originally. That just was at this little 16 foot trailer. We set it up and it was enough to power my laptop and uh, do the videos I needed to do. OK, and then we expanded later on. But look at let me, let me point out some things on this on this chart. 
I know it looks a little bit complicated, but let me break this down for you very, very simple. There's a lot of components here, but it's really very simple. You have two solar panels, two 250 watt panels, okay? That goes into a combiner box. And then from the combiner box, it goes into a charge controller. The charge controller is what's going to determine, you know, if the solar panels need to keep charging, if the batteries are already charged or not. And then from the, from the charge controller, um, it's called the midnight solar, the kid. It comes from there into um, a breaker and then into the batteries. That's, it basically goes from here to the batteries, okay, in a roundabout way. We've got some other things in here, um, you know, like a, a wind turbine. It's a really, you know, cheap, it's called the wind blue power. We, we ran that for a time. It got, ended up getting hit by lightning uh, at some point. So it, it went the way of the dodo bird. <laughs> but, um, and then it goes from the batteries to a small inverter. If you notice, that's a 600 watt inverter. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I've showed it before on my videos. That's a tiny inverter, okay? That's what we got started with. And because of the way the wind turbine was set up, we had to have a, a bank resistor. It's a dump charge, um, a dump and a controller for the dump controller. Um, and so all, that was all that. But really what's very, very basic here, you could put this system together for probably just a couple thousand dollars. You probably could put it together for a, a couple thousand dollars, maybe two, two or $3,000. And you'd have electricity that you could use to charge your laptop, to stay in communication, charge your cell phones, basic solar, very basic solar. Here, here's another chart. This one's even more simple. This is actually what ran our aquaponics system uh, for a number of years um, before we finally did away with that. But um, this is for the same solar panels, a combiner box, a charge controller going into the lead acid battery bank and then into, a, a, a again, a 600 watt <laughs> inverter. Um, and then it uh, has a battery lifesaver and outgoing fuse and everything. But very, very simple. Very, very simple. These, I think these batteries were uh, eight, six volt golf cart batteries. These are the ones we bought at Sam's Club. And then later on, here's this chart. This is something we upgraded to later. We have a Primus Air 40 uh, wind turbine, and we're still using this today. It, it's connected to Tim's house and Tim's battery bank, and um, we upgraded. Uh, this is still a 600-watt inverter, but eventually we went to a 1,000-watt inverter, and then we upgraded again to a 1,500-watt inverter. And now we've you know got the 6,500-watt inverter from Sun Gold Power. But, you know, as you can see, the, the different charts show that, you know, you can add to these things as time and money allows. So I hope those charts kind of help you out. And, and those wiring diagrams that we've created have helped a lot of people kind of get an idea of how these things hook up, how this stuff goes together. It kind of takes a little bit of the mystery out of it. So if you need to, you can go out and um, pause the video, take a screen capture of those wiring diagrams and use them. Or you can go to Google and just search for an AmericanHomestead.com solar and go to the images section of that Google search and you'll find all three of those charts, those wiring diagrams, if you need to use them you know, at some point. And I know they've helped a lot of people. So anyway, I hope I've taken a little bit of the mystery out um, of this. I, I, I really hope if you can, check out Sun Gold Power's products. I, I, I like their products. They are helping sponsor this video. They are helping us, you know, here on the homestead, uh, you know, with some of the equipment things that we may have, you know, need for in the future. And so I really appreciate them um, helping out and, and, and giving us the, the equipment and um, allowing us to promote the products because they are good products. So you can check those out. Again, links for Sun Gold Power in the description below. Check that out. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll try to address them if possible if I see them. So I, I get, I, I'm busy around here like a chicken with its head cut off. So I just, I try my best to, to um, answer things if I can. So um, leave a comment below if you can. All right, guys. Hey, check out our merchandise, teespring.com. You can find our stupid should hurt shirt, our best selling shirt of all time. If we had more hurt in this world, it'd be a lot less stupid. Other than that, we'll see you next time on American Homestead. Bye. This is Grandma. Grandma survived the Great Depression. She survived the Great Depression because her supply chain was local and she knew how to do stuff. Grandma was smart. Grandma told us to make do with what you got. She also said, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Homesteading is all about self-reliance and declaring ourselves to be independent from the system. We grow our own food, we raise our own animals, and doing these things help safeguard our families from the unpredictable world that surrounds us. But what about banking? I love being my own power company, but what about being my own bank? Right now, our country is over $30 trillion in debt and rising. The Fed keeps printing money and the Congress won't stop spending money. Staying attached to the modern banking system and their investment vehicles is like putting all of your eggs in one very, very fragile basket. 
On one side you have the threat of inflation and your savings value floating away. And the other side is a possible deflationary stock market collapse just like what happened in the 1930s. Genesis Gold Group is like a basket holding eggs and these eggs are impossible to break. History shows us that all paper investments have and will return to their intrinsic value eventually. Zero. But gold, silver, and other precious metals have never, ever been worthless. In every collapse throughout history, people have turned back to precious metals to find monetary value. If you have a 401k, an IRA, or a savings account where you're literally watching the purchasing power inflate away, give Genesis Gold Group a call right now. Today. This instant. They can develop a strategy for you in the days ahead. I can tell you how I raise sheep, I can tell you how I raise chickens, or the best way to grow tomatoes, or how to hook up a solar panel. But Genesis Gold Group is your best shot at safeguarding your hard-earned savings and investments during this increasingly turbulent time in history. The link and phone number is in the description below or visit their website at genesisgoldgroup.com. And be sure to say you heard about them from an American homestead. Hey guys, did you know you can become a patron of an American homestead? They get access to private videos and we send them gifts from the homestead that we make here on the homestead. And we also enter our patrons into special giveaways that are only available to them. And before you go, please check out these other great videos. Go ahead, click. I'll wait. <laughs>